It's May 4th, 2020. I'm getting ready to throw down some uh, Scott's Turf Builder lawn food and uh, get this lawn fertilized for the late spring application. As you know, I already threw down some Humic 12 the other day along with uh, uh, some Morganite to capture, you know, uh, my 1100 square foot lawn right here in the front. Um, as you can see, we talked about those dead spots here. And um, I haven't noticed any change yet. It's only been two days, obviously, but um, I like to go over those little pieces of area where uh, uh, we talked about to include uh, um, the areas where, you know, over there and over there and over there, exhibit B, C, and D. And then um, some of the areas you know, I'm working on two are along my uh, bushes and uh, my palms here. Obviously, I uh, went ahead and clipped them. And then, uh, you know, I had some crabgrass growing around my, you know, plants up front near the windows. So I, went, I got in there and I went ahead and pulled a lot of the things out. Excuse the dog. It's barking. I went ahead and pulled some of the crab, crabgrass around my, my uh, plants up here. And, um, over here cleaned up a lot of the weeds crabgrass also mainly i really don't have any weeds as i talked about um not that much at all so uh, a lot of brush right here too a lot of leaves mainly just a lot of stuff that comes down from this eucalyptus tree here and these eucalyptus trees here um, they like to skin themselves once a year so it creates a pretty big mess and if i don't clean it up right away um, that stuff just pretty much piles up in areas and then I uh, I got these uh, I don't know what they're called I think they're something like evergreens or something like that bushes um, always full of webs um, so I can imagine what kind of things are in there but uh, those leaves from the eucalyptus trees uh, pile up under those evergreens over the years so I went ahead and just pretty much got everything and anything out from under them and then um, we walk over here to the front area of my yard. And uh, everything I just mowed too today. So I'm setting up for a Friday mowing because I want to keep my lawn on a three to four day kind of like schedule and stuff like that. Um, obviously here's the, uh, the turf builder lawn food right here. I'm getting ready to lay out. But um, as we talked about, here's uh, the exhibit B dead spot. Um, right in front of the mailbox and then we got uh, C over here dead spot pulled some more uh, uh, grass out of here and stuff like that and then uh, over here D dead spot I pulled some more grass from uh, this area right here and then like I said this area right here just full of uh, some you know Bermuda and stuff like that so and that stuff I'll just tackle at a later time um, but, uh, main goal today is just to get down that turf builder lawn food and then, uh, get this area growing really, really, really nice. That way, uh, uh, we can see some good results come the end of the 2020 season. Um, dogs going crazy, stuff like that. So I'll walk right back up again over here to the bald spots in the lawn and uh, get ready to lay out that uh, turf builder lawn food. So I'll go ahead and do that right now. When you get done fertilizing your uh, lawn, make sure you sweep up all the areas before you water in because your day will be sucking, man. <laughs> but uh, yeah, 
All right, so there we go. I got the Scott's Turf Builder lawn food down um, all over my St. Augustine grass. As you can see, it there all over the ground. So everything is thrown down and um, we will see. I don't know how long it'll take to show results, but um, we will see back in a couple of days maybe about in a week and a half or so um, to see how the lawn's doing. Uh, maybe sooner than that. Uh, I might be throwing down the RGS, next RGS root growth stimulator, uh, root, root growth uh, stimulant, um, maybe at the end of the week to, because I got a lot of catching up to do um, as far as, because we're in late spring, heading into early summer, and I wanna be right where I'm at, uh, right where I wanna be um, but I'm going to need to catch up on a few things as far as following the, um, the biostimulant schedule and, um, catching up on the, uh, well, I, I've already caught up with the Scott's lawn care program, but, uh, and I won't fertilize again until I think it's maybe early July with the, uh, Scott's lawn or Scott's turf builder lawn food. That'll be my next application. I think that's what it calls for. But uh, I will need to do. I will need to catch up with the uh, root growth stimulant, and I'll be doing that uh, maybe at the end of the week, and then um, hopefully I'll report back in uh, to let you know how the lawn is doing and see if we can see any differences from applying the humic 12 and the. Um, Scott's Lawn Food, or Scott's Turf Builder Lawn Food today, uh, come maybe Sunday, because Friday I'm going to mow again, and um, and I'm going to try to keep myself on a three, four day mowing schedule here, because this grass, it likes to grow pretty long, and I think I'm mowing on a four right now, maybe like a three, three and a half, three and a half, four, that's where I'm at right now with how high I'm mowing the grass, but uh, I expect I'll move up to like a four. You know, as time goes on and the summer gets here in front of us and in the fall as we start to thicken up a little bit. All right, so just get the grass watered in. That way, uh, and I normally don't water it in after I fertilize, you know, just, well, sometimes I do, but I don't think it's a big deal if you don't water in right away, but uh, make sure you just keep up your watering schedule, more like it, um, but, uh, Whenever I get done mowing, I like to water in, so um, everything looks nice and green and shiny. It's just the way I like to take pictures, you know what I mean? So that's what I'm doing right now, as you can see. And I deep water when I water in. I try to go for 45 minutes per section. Um, some might think that's too much, but uh, you know, if you practice deep watering schedulings, you have to water less often and uh, you get those roots to go down into the ground uh, instead of staying up at the top where they can be burned by the you know, all heavenly sun. So, water deep guys, especially if you got St. Augustine. It's gonna make for better results and uh, it's gonna allow your grass to be more healthy at times when, uh, you know, is the weather is just unbearable so just a note that's all i did today as far as you know with the grass and all the you know shrubbery i pulled from my plants everything else um will show up in time harley's garden's doing okay i planted some more potatoes over there on that hill, uh, some rooset potatoes, stuff like that. I still don't have any signs from my baby red potatoes on the right. And uh, I got some cabbage growing right there. But uh, the grass over here in the back with the, I planted some, uh, what was it? Uh, Scott's Sunny Mix over there. And um, I haven't given an update on that, but uh, we'll use this as giving an update. And uh, that grass is, it's, it's all right, it's coming in. Um, I didn't use any type of supplements to plant the seed or anything right there, I just watered it in and you know shook the dirt up a little bit but that's it and it's not doing too 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 bad i mean i got some bald spots in it so you know 
nothing that can't be fixed with a little bit more seed but um other than that i will talk to you guys on the next update coming around like sunday next week or sunday this sunday coming up uh this is mopar for life saying be safe out there take care and uh i'll see you guys on the next update peace out guys Uh huh. For two hundred and fifty dollars. Uh huh. What? Ow. Two hundred and fifty dollars for this.